Good morning, everyone. Today we're going to read a nice book called On the Day You Were Born, and it's by Deborah Fraser. So before we start, I want you to ask your mom about the day you were born. Do you have any questions about what it was like on the day you were born? Or maybe you want to know what you looked like when you were born. So you can ask your mom about that. And this story is called On the Day You Were Born. On the eve of your birth, word of your coming passed from animal to animal. The reindeer told the Arctic terns, who told the humpback whales, who told the Pacific salmon, who told the monarch butterflies, who told the green turtles, who told the European eel, who told the busy garden warblers, and the marvelous news migrated worldwide. While you waited in darkness, tiny knees curled to chin. The earth and her creatures, with the sun and the moon, all moved in their places, each ready to greet you for the very first moment on the very first day you arrived. So you were in your mommy's belly before you were born. On the day you were born, the round planet earth turned toward your morning sky, whirling past darkness, spinning night into light. On the day you were born, gravity's strong pull held you to the earth with the promise that you would never float away. While deep in space, the burning sun sent up towering flames lighting your sky from dawn until dusk. On the day you were born, the quiet moon glowed and offered to bring a full bright face each month to your windowsill. While high above the North Pole, Polaris, the glittering North Star, stood still, shining silver light into your night sky. On the day you were born, the moon pulled the ocean below and wave by wave, rising tide washed the beaches clean for your footprints. While far out at sea, clouds swelled with water drops, sailed to shore on a wind and rained you a welcome across the earth's green land. On the day you were born, a forest of tall trees collected the sunlight in their leaves where in silent mystery they made oxygen for you to breathe. While close to your skin and high as the sky, air rushed in and blew about, invisibly protecting you and all living things on earth. What is he flying here, this little guy? A kite. Did you ever fly a kite before? On the day you were born, the earth turned, the moon pulled, and the sun flared, and then with a push, you slipped out of the dark quiet, where suddenly you can hear a circle of people singing with voices familiar and clear. And that's when you come out of mommy's belly. Welcome to the spinning world, the people sang as they washed your new tiny hands. Welcome to the green earth, the people sang as they wrapped your wet slippery body. And as they held you close, they whispered into your open curving ear. We are so glad you've come. Now they have a new baby. The end. So how do you think your mommy and daddy felt when you were born? Do you think they were really happy and excited to meet you? And one more thing that you can think about is you can look at a picture of yourself when you were a baby and a picture of you now. So I want you to think about how are you different from when you were a baby? And is anything the same when you were a baby as you are now?